What's up everybody? This is Oda the A from Bottissimo and today we're going to be talking about hooking up a custom bot. So what a lot of people love about Bottissimo is the ability to wire up your own custom bots so that in your channel you don't see Bottissimo but you instead see like my cool bot or pro bot or you know whatever it is that you may have named your fancy bot. So the first thing that you need to know is that in order to use the custom bot feature you will need a master membership and if you do not have a master membership then you can head over here to the membership page and you can fix that. But uh, the custom bot is located on the settings page so that's where we're at now. So you can head over to the settings page and if you have a master membership you'll see this nice little custom bot section. Now we've got some, you know, instructions here to try to help you out, but we also are gonna make this video to make it super clear. So the first thing that you're gonna to wanna to do is create an account for your bot on whatever platform that you're trying to connect right now. Once you've created your account, click on whichever link you're trying to use, whether you're doing Twitch or Mixer, etc., and it's going to take you through the OAuth, what's called the OAuth flow of authenticating your bot. Uh, it also lets you know that for best results, you should set your custom bot and Bottissimo as a moderator. Uh, some, some actions will be performed by your custom bot. Some actions will still be performed by Bottissimo under the hood. So it really works best if you just give them both moderator status. It's, um, just for good measure. And then lastly, if for some reason your bot stops working, your custom bot stops working and you just can't seem to figure out why, there's a good chance that maybe the authentication token has expired for it. And in that case, you can come back here and you can just re-authenticate by clicking on the button again. Uh, so we can show, we can take a look at how that works as well. So we're gonna be doing a Twitch, a custom Twitch bot. Um, if you've seen any of the other videos, you know that I, uh, we have a channel, I Suck at Guitar, and that's the, that's the channel that we're working with here. So what we want to do is we want to click on Link Twitch Bot. And now you can see that we've got, uh, Bati, you know, this is the OAuth page, Bautismo wants access to your account, I Suck at Guitar. This is not what you want to do. This is an example of hooking up your own account as the bot account, and we do not want to do that. Um, Bottissimo does not respond to itself. So if you hook up a custom bot, it will not respond to the custom bot, which means if you hook up your own personal account as the custom bot, then our system will no longer respond to you. So what you should do instead is you should actually go to Twitch and create a new account for your bot, separate from your streaming account. So I'm gonna go ahead and log out and we will sign up for a new account. I suck at guitar bot. Okay, so we have now created a new account called I suck at guitar bot. So now we go back over to Bautissimo, we link our Twitch bot, we can see that we're now hooking up our bot account. This is what we want, right? We don't wanna hook up our personal account. We'll go ahead and authorize it. We will wait, and boom. Now we can see that I Suck at Guitar Bot has been hooked up as the custom bot in our channel. We can go over here, we're going to we need to switch our accounts back now, right? Because we logged in as our bot. So I'll be right back while I do that. Okay, cool. So now we're logged back in as our regular account. And now we can see it all come together in action. Voila. Now we can say ping. We get a pong back from I suck at guitar bot. And let's not forget what I had said earlier that we should definitely add I suck at guitar bot as a moderator that way we don't have any issues using some of the features 
So we'll go ahead and ping it again. Make sure we see that sword. Cool. So now we have a custom bot. It's hooked up. It responds to us because it's not ourself. And we have it as moderator so that it can do everything that it needs to be able to do. If we want to unlink it, we can come back to the settings page. You can go hover over the button. You'll see a little unlink and click on that. You can unlink it if you want. Or as I was saying before, if it stops responding for some reason and you just, you've looked and every, your commands are set up right and everything looks right and you just can't figure it out, it might be this. It might just be that you just need to click on this guy again and re-authenticate your custom bot. And again, make sure, this is important, make sure that it's your custom bot account and not your personal account or you're gonna have some weird behavior. Cool. I hope that helps to clear up some of the um, custom bot process. Uh, thanks for watching.